Start Initiative Over there. Great yeah. initiative, changing lives in the different communities most affected. And now we're gearing up to get into yet another boxing session. But first, before we do that, we thought we'd take a moment out of the show yeah. to remember and pay tribute to a boxing legend here in South Africa who uh, passed away on the 18th of January 2020. I'm talking about Peter Terra Matebula, who passed away at the age of 67 um, after a long illness. And his funeral was to be held last week. But tragedy struck the Matebula family twice as the news came in that his widow, uh, Emma Khabaitziwi Matebula, passed away on the eve before Matebula was to be laid to rest. And of course, the funeral now will be held as a joint funeral and it will be happening today. And so we're taking time out of the Expresso Show to remember this mm. legend, this great in South African boxing. Absolutely. Now, just a few facts um, that some people don't know. My pa, my grandfather, actually used to love him, mm. but he was born in Mosla King, Gauteng, on July 3rd in 1952. Mm. Uh, so Peter, or Terra as we know him, mm. was the first black South Africa to ever win a boxing title, which is absolutely huge. Can oh, you imagine, man. you know? Terra. Mm. And he originally wanted to become a professional soccer player, which a lot of people actually don't know. Uh, but due to being left on the bench repeatedly by the coach, uh, he adopted boxing at the tender age of 13. And of course, the rest was history from there, right? Yeah, he broke, also broke down so many barriers yeah. towards African fighters and first came to prominence in 1976 yeah. when he won South Africa's national flyweight title. And his fearsome skill inside the ring earned him his nickname as we know him, Terra, of That's course. That's where it comes from, Terra. And four years later, he made history by uh, defeating South Korean Tae Shik Kim at the World Boxing Association. This happened in Los Angeles in the United States. Uh, and of course, South African journalist Atha Mulisiwa said that Matabula was not expected to win against defending a champion at Tae Shik, arguing that the Gauteng born boxer had in fact been lined up as a sacrificial lamb to boost the South Koreans' winning record. But he went against the odds and he did the unexpected, defeating his much fancied opponent. Yeah. And that was a moment in history. Absolutely. He also became, um, after he retired, became a coach and won multiple awards for his achievements and, of course, his contribution to the sport. So, uh, gone, but definitely not forgotten. And our Absolutely. condolences are to the Matabula family um, for the passing of Peter Terra Matabula. We say salute.